Hi, I'm Sharon and welcome to my channel. It's been quite a while since I've uploaded a new video. Life happens, I've been focusing on other things and creatively I've just been playing around, catching snippets of time here and there without setting up my camera or needing to edit footage. So I thought it was, given that we're, we're in May already, unbelievable, it's time I th to give you a look at what I've been playing with. One of the journals I've featured in a number of videos here on my channel is my large fragments journal. I'll add links to those if you haven't already seen them. Anyway, this is my creative play and experimenting journal and it hangs out in the studio. I work in it in layers, adding to the pages, when I have leftover paint, want to try out a new um, stencils or stamps, try different techniques, a little bit of collage, anything that really takes my fancy. And with this journal, I don't see it as a project to complete, but rather as one that is building and I'm learning from. I recently thought that it would be great to have a smaller version um, one that's more portable and a lot um, nicer to use if as a, a little lap journal. So I tossed up whether to step up my hunt to find an old book for that purpose. Create a new one in the same way as the larger one. But in the end, I opted to turn this little paper blanks journal I had in my stash into my mini fragments journal. This is a 240 page midi size and I love it, the feel of it in my hand. Working in it is wonderful. I've removed a set of pages from the center of each signature and covered it with some collage to lessen the bulk, but overall, I'm just letting it expand. I also decided not to glue pages together, and I'm surprised at how robust this paper is, even though it's not meant for mixed media. Even on pages where I've added lots of paint and layers, there's very little buckling. So far, as I said, I've collaged over the center of each signature where I've removed pages. I've added collage on every second page approximately to add interest and a jumping off point. And then I've gone through and added paint to other pages on quite a few. I'll show you. On, on quite a few, I've jelly printed directly to the pages using a random mix of colors and others I've painted with a brush. Overall, I'm really enjoying playing in this little book. I've finished a few pages, trying out different ideas I've seen from others, but overall, I'm not seeing it as something that needs to be finished. I also get a kick out of the contrast between the elaborate looking, the elaborate and formal looking cover and the random and in some cases messy art inside. This journal is teaching me that although layered art is great, not everything needs to be complex or worked on for hours to be effective. Sometimes simple can be really pleasing to the eye. Even some of the jelly printed pages are beautiful as they are. Like these, just beautiful, the randomness. I, I've always loved jelly printing, but these pages are just lovely. Anyway, thanks for watching. Perhaps I've inspired you to start your own mini fragments journal. And until next time, 
I'll leave you with a quick look at what I have so far.